We'll be talking goalball, and we are joined by a couple of uh, local goalball, goalball athletes. Mr. Adam Noble. Check in. How you doing? There we go. It's been, and a, been a long time since I've been on the air here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Adam and I used to have the uh, the uh, Adam Noble, what was it called? The Adam Noble... Bill McLean Fill-In Show. Bill McLean Fill-In Show featuring Adam Noble. <laughs> 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 and uh, and Jennifer, Jen, what's your last name? I'm sorry. McNeil. And Jennifer McNeil. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you guys on here. It's great to be here. Uh, it's uh, the sport of goalball. Well, the sport of goalball, you're played, it's, it's on, played in a gymnasium. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on a court by 18 uh, by 9 meters. And uh, the object of the game is you basically uh, throw the ball back and forth uh, on the ground. Um, you get three people at each end of the court. You get a left winger, center and uh, right wing and uh, as the other team is throwing the ball down to you you have to slide and try to block the ball um, from where it's coming from mm -hmm. and uh, keep it out of the net so that's basically the object of, of goal ball mm -hmm. um, you, it's a 24 minute game uh, two 12 minute halves mm -hmm. and uh, and how many people are on each side three 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 people right the, um, you spend a lot of time you know, blocking and sliding and running um, for us, where none of us can see because it is a, um, a blind sport. Um, the ball has some bells in it, so as mm -hmm. the ball is crossing the court, you can hear where it's going. Right. Um, so you have to use a lot of um, your hearing ability. And people who have some vision or total vision, because sighted people can play if they want to, um, they are blindfolded under eye shades, so they aren't able to see, so therefore they have to use their hearing as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so it's it's uh, different that way because it's very much a hearing-based sport. Right. Um, and you really get to know your teammates because where you're all sliding, sometimes you collide. I was going to say, <laughs> there, must be, there must be the odd time where there's oh, some yes. pretty nasty collisions. <laughs> it is, yeah. There yeah, definitely yeah. is, for sure. Yeah. Does, that, does that, like, anybody ever get hurt doing this? Is, is <laughs> I've, I've, no, I've seen people get hurt before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I've seen, I've seen blood on the court. R wow. Yeah. Bloody what? noses, yeah. pulled shoulders. Skin torn off fingers. Yeah, oh. I get a lot of hand burn from playing because you basically right. propel yourself with your hands and your feet to slide. Right. Um, because each person, well, the two wingers are responsible for three meters of the course, and the center is responsible for a bit more because they're in the center and they move further into the wings than the wingers move into the center. Right. So there are, you know, things like hand burn from like throwing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's some injuries. You know, you get bruises on your hips and your legs, but it's totally worth it. It's amazing. That's so. the one was uh, established um, in 1944, I believe, after uh, after the war. Right. Uh, for blind veterans um, you know, to, to exercise and get in, in shape and, you know, something for them to do. So Wow. And uh, it became a Paralympic sport in 1976. Okay. In the dark, the, the premise of it is that you come out and you um, dine under blindfolds. So... You'll have a, a meal, and you just put your blindfold on, and you get to experience what it's like to eat under blindfold. Right. Um, so the evening will consist of, you know, a little bit of a welcome, um, and then there'll be the meal, and the meal is a turkey dinner yeah. um, with all the fixings mm -hmm. and dessert. Um, and then we'll have some entertainment by some blind musicians who are actually really, really good, um, Ron and Maria Alley. And yours truly here is going to be emceeing for us. Yes. Yes, I am the MC. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then there'll be some, some games and some door prizes, yeah. um, as well as two bigger prizes. So we have um, a one-night stay at the Delta Barrington oh, wow. and a yoga starter kit from Lululemon, which is pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you'll just kind of get to learn more about what it's like to be blind. You'll learn a little bit about goalball um, and just to come out and support a really good cause. Um, and like I said, you know, for us, this is an amazing opportunity um, because now we have the two teams and just to be able to go and do tournaments and it'll help us raise money for nationals as well. Yeah, money, money from this event will go towards nationals that we're hosting in May. Right. Uh, that we played at Citadel High uh, from May 13th uh, through to 15th. So the money from this event will uh, offset costs for, for all that. Yeah, and um, it's taking place on April 9th yeah. from 6 until 9 at the Fairview Legion, mm -hmm. which is um, 50 Her Hillcrest Avenue. Mm -hmm. But if you, it's right off Main Avenue, so it's on the corner. So if you know where Main Avenue is in Fairview, you just drive up and you'll see the Legion, and that's where we are. So people can buy tickets at the door. 
No. No. Okay, no. <laughs> in advance. In advance. Yeah. Um, if people are interested in purchasing tickets for the event, yeah. um, they can flip us an email at hfx. Dining in the dark right. at gmail dot ca dot com. Oh, sorry, dot com. Yeah. I think it goes this, but yeah. Um, and if you are interested, we can hook you up with some tickets. It'll be super, super fun. I would yeah. encourage everybody to come out. It's going to be amazing. Eight. Forty dollars a ticket, right? And it's uh, for company tickets. Uh, let's say for five. For six. So to get a table of six, it's three hundred dollars. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, if your company wants to sponsor a table, and you get recognition that night of sponsoring the table, and if you want to send four, it's two hundred dollars. Nice. Yeah. Good. Good. So, so you can get a table of six and a table of four. Yeah. Yep. Right. So a table of six is three hundred. Table of four is two hundred. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and each individual ticket's forty bucks. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Yep. And it's Halifax Dining in the Dark. HFX. A- oh, sorry. Yep. HFX Dining, Dining in the, in the dark. dark. Yep. At, at gmail.com. Yep. yep. Perfect.